Hello everybody, it's uh, C-Dub62. I'm just, from now on, I'm gonna go by my real name. My name is Chris. Um, today is the 2nd of January, the day after New Year. And um, I made a couple of New Year resolutions like a lot of people do. Uh, one of them is I wanna take better care of myself. I'm a diabetic and I don't watch my diet as well as I should. And um, I want to get off the insulin, so um, I've got to take better care of myself. But uh, another resolution I made, and it's been kind of sitting on my heart all day, is um, I made a resolution. Uh, resolution. I made a resolution to be thankful, to try to be thankful for at least one thing each day. Now today I have two things I want to talk a little bit about about being thankful. The first thing I want to talk about is my dad. My dad, uh, he's up there in age. He was born in May of 1937. He was in the military um, for 20 years. He was in the Air Force. And most of the time when I was a, a child growing up, he was he was in the, in the Air Force uh, up until 1975, I believe it was, or 76. Uh, during that time, they had this thing going on called the Vietnam War or the Vietnam Conflict, depending on how you want to look at it. And my father was gone quite a bit. And he'd be gone for short periods of time now. But back then it seemed like he was gone forever. He'd be gone from three to six months at a time. And it was quite often that he was gone. And um, I didn't understand why my friends whose fathers were not in the military had their dads at home when I didn't. Um, I can remember going and playing baseball. I was on a little league team. My mom tried to keep my brother and I and my two sisters very active, I believe, to help us to keep our minds off the things that were going on. And my father was never there in the bleachers watching me play baseball, where the other kids, they, they had their parents there. But one thing I never doubted when I was a child was the love my father had for me. He wasn't real big on telling me or my brother and sisters that he loved us, but his actions spoke a whole lot louder than his words ever did. And um, he instilled into us, I can remember as, as a young child, that family meant everything. He used to tell us all the time, that um, we might not have a whole lot of anything, but we have family, and family is everything. So I'm very strong with my family. I have four children of my own. <laughs> well, they're children, but they're not kids. I have uh, two in college and two in high school. And I try to tell my children every day that I love them and that they mean so much to me. Some days I slip up and I don't, but I want my children to know that I love them and I'm very proud of them. That's something that my father instilled in me that uh, I hope I can instill into my children. Okay, now the second thing I'm thankful for is the fact that at my age, and with my health problems, I have a job. I have a full-time job. I work 40 hours a week. It's a good job. I enjoy the job most of the time, but there's a few situations that I don't care for. And my youngest son, I'll go home from work and he'll ask me almost every day, Hey, Dad, how was work? I know, it sucked. Because a lot of times, that's my attitude. It sucked. But I'm trying to get my children to understand even a bad job pays the bills until you can find a good job. And I'm thankful that I have that thought because there's so many times it would have just been so easy just to say, forget it, I'm done, I'm out of here, and quit. And it's been the next month, two months, six months looking for another job and having to start part-time 
and work a year, year and a half before I even even eligible to be considered for full time. So I'm thankful that I have a job and it does pay the bills or it helps pay the bills. And I have a side job that I do. I do food deliveries with the um, delivery companies, Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDasher, and Postmates. And main reason I'm doing those is the fact that those make payments for the truck that I drive. Um, my wife and I figured our budget out, how much we could afford. It wasn't a whole lot. And um, I decided that when I bought the truck, I would try to... Uh, earn extra money somehow to where we wouldn't have to pull the money for the insurance, the gas, and the payment to pay for this truck. And so far, I've been lucky. I've been able to make enough money every month to make at least the payment, the insurance, and the, and the gas. And a couple of months, I've been able to have a little extra money. But I was off work for a little while, so I couldn't make extra payments because... Um, I had surgery, and in four months, I had two toes amputated, uh, partially because of injuries and partially because of the diabetes, because the diabetes didn't allow my toes to heal properly, so I had to lose them. But I'm really thankful the fact that I do have a job, and I'm trying to change the situation at work, not the, the situation where other people are involved, because I can't change other people. But the situation where I'm involved, I'm trying to be a better person each day. You know, I, I ask the Lord every day to make me a better person today than I was yesterday. And um, I have a good friend at work that uh, he's helping me even on, on his days off because he has a different day off than I do. He calls me up and he says, hey, how you doing today? Just remember, you just have to put up with it for a few more hours and then you're done for today. Think positive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mention him. His name is Tim. And um, I'll tell you what, if you all want to see somebody that's high energy, that puts out a really good video and sometimes he's pretty funny, go over and check out Rideshare Timbo Adventure. He's on YouTube. He's the one that actually got me started doing food delivery. Um, he's pretty high strung. I believe he said he's got ADD or... Um, some other type of uh, thing going on in his life. But he's, he's, he's a good friend. He's uh, got a lot of energy. He's 61 years old. He's older than me. And he just puts out a really good video and he's fun to watch. Um, this video is run a little bit long. I'm already over eight minutes. So I'm going to cut it short here. Just remember, try to be thankful for something every day. And when you're th thinking about what you're thankful for, you're not giving yourself time to think about being negative. You all take care. God bless. Blessings to you and your family.